This is the northeast corner of Central Square in downtown Youngstown. Can you guess the year? How about the month? There are actually a couple of clues. One of them is right here on the marquee of the old Palace Theater. Sullivan's Travel starring Veronica Lake was released in February of 1942. That plus the fact that there are no leaves on the trees gives us a good idea that this picture was likely taken in late February or early March of 1942. This is just one example of how pictures can often tell us far more than initially meets the eye. And it was the topic of Thursday's Bites and Bits of History Luncheon at the Tyler History Center. The event was hosted by the Mahoning Valley Historical Society's Executive Director, Bill Lawson. The topic of today is pictures worth a thousand words. Photography here in the Mahoning Valley, we have images that go back probably mid to late 1840s. This is taken, the vantage point is right in Central Square in downtown Youngstown. Looking east, down East Federal Street, you see this arch over the street there and there's a sign in there and it says, Welcome Heroes of Rich Mountain. That was an early battle in the American Civil War. In the middle of the street, you've got a bunch of boys. As I get in closer, you can see they're in uniform. We actually have one of these Zuava uniforms in our collection. And uh, as you can see, it's very colorful. It's just great to have this and to exhibit it and show the photograph where the boy is actually wearing the uniform. This is downtown Youngstown looking the other direction on West Federal Street. Youngstown is a city at this point, population well over 5,000. But what are all these people doing out in the middle of the street? If you get a little closer, what do you see? Tightrope walker. And uh, that is not just any tightrope walker. That is Jean-Francois Gravelier, otherwise known as Blondin. Something else interesting, you see there's uh, about five people down there in the bottom. They're all holding uh, ropes that are steadying the line. What I wanted to accomplish with pictures worth a thousand words is to show people how important our photographic archive is here at the Mahoning Valley Historical Society, but also hopefully they would appreciate how important their family photographs are because they tell a lot of stories. This is on the corner of um, Federal Plaza and uh, they were constructing a new building there, but on the third floor of the existing building there was a telephone exchange and operating center. <laughs> what the architects and engineers had to do was basically demolish a building around this center, but preserve a portion of the third floor and build pilings and reinforcing is underneath it, which you see there, because they didn't want to disrupt the telephone service. And this is about 1902. When it was finished was this building. Everybody recognize that? You do? Oh, Dollar Bank Building, right. Everybody knows what this is, right? Downtown Youngstown. Anybody know what year it is? Uh, that was actually built in 1925, and you can see it's still gleaming white granite, uh, where you can see even the courthouse, which was built 15 years earlier, is starting to get that sooty patina on it. So that's a clue. Missing from this photo right here is the central tower which was built between 1928 and 1929. We're somewhere between 1925 and 1929. But there's another clue here, and it's down in this corner. Uh, you see the steel framework for the Palace Theater. That was built in 1925 and opened in 1926. So we are reasonably sure, or I am, based on knowing that, that this is probably a 1925 photograph. I think that's important to having and preserving a community memory, is to tell stories, to tie those stories into images, artifacts, and uh, make sure that we're doing that for generations so that people now and in the future will appreciate all that's happened here and why it's important.